Iranian state-affiliated media is promoting a video of Vice President Kamala Harris this week. She praised a college student for voicing her concerns over the U.S. funding Israel's Iron Dome system that protects it from rockets fire, fired and accusing Israel of genocide, the student did. Watch. Just a few days ago, there were funds allocated to continue backing Israel, which hurts my heart because it's an ethnic genocide and the displacement of people is the chance that they have to bring up. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. And again, this is about the fact that your voice, your perspective, your experience, your truth should not be suppressed. Okay, so it is the second time this week that Iranian media has aired a clip of the vice president. The first was when she said that images of Border Patrol agents on horseback chasing Haitian migrants, or there's dispute over whether or not they were chasing them, uh, they were holding them back from the border and crossing the river. She said it evoked times of slavery, and they got some mileage out of that in Iran as well. So joining me now is Jimmy Fela, host of Fox Across America on Fox News Radio. Jimmy, uh, not a great week for the vice president. Man, uh, first of all, hello from Nashville, Martha. Uh, you are the first hello. sober person I've seen in three days. Uh, but everybody, <laughs> <laughs> I mean it, I do mean it, but everybody can use a drink after watching that Kamala video. And this is the problem with this administration. Uh, Iran sees a weakness in us right now. They really do, because there is within the Democratic Party loud voices who don't support Israel and people who, you know, kind of thrive off slandering America slander and slandering its allies, whether we're talking about the Border Patrol, whether we're talking about Israel. When she says it's important that your truth get expressed. There isn't your truth, Martha. There is the truth. And Israel is not any of the things it was characterized as. But I'm not surprised Kamala didn't push back. Why? Because she doesn't like to talk to the problem. This is a border czar who still doesn't go to the border. Like, she'll take her family to south of the border to go rafting before she'll go to the actual border. So I'm not surprised. I mean, she could have easily said, you know, clearly Israel is our ally and we've Thank supported you. the Iron Dome system for a long time. Um, mm -hmm. I, you know, respect your opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. As an American, you can say what you think, um, but that's the policy of the United States. And move on, imagine. right? Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, well, imagine that. So, and this is the... Th you know, the so sometimes oh. you just got to wonder, like, why, the, why, why some of these things are so hard, you know? And, and you're well, right. Well, There's not a your truth. This is something mm -hmm. that the country needs to wake up to. There is the mm -hmm. truth. And if we have your truths, um, pretty much anything can be true. And that it just simply isn't the case. So here's a Daily Caller piece uh, that mm. looks back at the first eight months of the of being vice president. And Kamala Harris, it says, according to their headline, is already trying to save her political career. And it reads in part, some Democratic <laughs> strategists are reportedly concerned that Harris could become a toxic figure for her party ahead of the 2022 midterm elections, a time when the vice president typically plays a big role in boosting support for yeah. down ticket party members. What do you think, mm. Jimmy? No, no doubt about it. I mean, she's never been popular. I mean, when you really think about her effort to win the White House herself, when she dropped out, I believe she was polling behind ISIS at the time she dropped out of the Democratic primaries. And uh, she is a liability for them, and they know this now. Like, I have a theory, though, that Biden never forgave her for what happened on the campaign trail, whether she was accusing him of being racist or saying she believed his sexual assault accuser, Tara Reid. And I think he did need her to win. She was a politically expedient choice. But they really are, at every turn, kind of downplaying her, giving her the difficult assignments, and putting her in politically precarious positions that she always Always makes worse with her stupid sociopathic laugh. Yeah, I, I mean it is. It's an awkward position that the White House is in, and it's there. And I, I did see that she brought in some new uh, communications folks who have focused in crisis management. They've got three and a half years to go, so she has some time to fix it up. Um, I, I didn't. I'm not aware of the poll that you referenced, uh, of ISIS. But oh, um, I was kidding. Your, I was stopping, Martha. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, critics torching New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio after this new NYPD initiative. The city will hire greeters. It's going to cost $5.7 million to be positioned at precincts to work on customer service uh, for the departments. This announcement came after a 16-year-old boy was shot dead outside a drugstore uh, two nights ago. A sec he was the second teenager to lose his life to be shot and killed in New York City in just two days. 
Mm. So naturally, Bill de Blasio wants to respond with Walmart greeters at police stations. Like, Martha, Bill de Blasio is the biggest embarrassment in the history of New York City, and I say that with all due respect to the Mets. I really do. But understand what's going on right now, <laughs> and I mean it, what's going on right now in our city, it's not a crime problem, it's a stupid problem. We have leaders like de Blasio who have pushed this fallacy that somehow the cops pose a greater threat to the community than the criminals. And that's obviously emboldened criminals, and it's made it exponentially harder for cops to do their job because they've been slandered by guys like de Blasio at every turn. I mean, if any police event that happens, okay, uh, Bill de Blasio gets every cop's back turned on him because they have no respect for him because he has always used them um, as a politically viable weapon when it was trendy. You know, when they were lighting cities on fire, he was bashing cops, and that's why, you know, there are more city cops rooting for the Boston Red Sox than Bill de Blasio. Yeah, I mean, he, he said that cops had been that gruff and dismissive to people when they showed up to ask questions at the precinct. Um, of course, everybody should be polite to the people in their community, but $5.7 million but, to hire greeters yeah. uh, to work at all of these at all of these agents is, is absolutely, especially when you look at what's the homicide rate um, in New York City and other cities across the country, it just you know, boggles the mind that this is the priority. Uh, Jimmy, thank you very much. Good to see you. You're the best, Martha. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.